Welcome back. In this business finance lecture, we will be going over study problem 10-5 in page 336 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. Let's first figure the key ingredients in the problem, the givens of the problem. So, an initial cash outlay of $80,000 will generate free cash flows of $20,000 for the next 6 years. These are the key features of a project that our firm is considering the firm will only undertake the project if the required rate of return is above 10 percent and in order to decide whether the project should be uh, um, undertaken or not we have various methods including uh, those listed here so let's begin with the first method in part a the question is asking for the payback period. Now, um, so pretty much payback period is just focusing on how long it will take to recover our initial investments. So notice that we initially spent $80,000 for the project and the project over the next six years is supposed to generate twenty thousand dollars cash flows so that would be year four year five and year six now the question is how long it will take until we get that initial investment back would one year suffice to get that back no it won't two years no the total would be forty thousand still below the initial outlay three years the total would be sixty thousand but still below the tra threshold how about four years? When we look at it, it looks like the total of these first initial first four years cash flows is enough to recover our initial outlay. Therefore, the payback period in this example would be four years. Now let's focus on the others, uh, net present value, profitability index, and IRR calculation. So in the case of net present value, like in in our previous video the left hand side is the key input that you are supposed to enter into your calculator and i also have the display of your machine as well so make sure to only enter the things on the left hand side so let's begin so as usual we start by resetting our machine first before i go any further you already know how to reset your machine then you press the cf key you enter the initial outlay then you enter um, the cash flow, start entering the cash flows. But luckily, our cash flows are for the next six years, we are expected to receive the same amount of cash flows. So therefore, we can have a shortcut and here mention that the time frame for the $20,000 um, cash flow is for the next six years. Then you press NPV, the I, the I letter I will show up in the screen. You know the... Um, required rate of return of this project is 10%. You press enter. You see it on your screen. Make sure to notice the triangle on top of that 10. And finally, you press down and compute. And there you go. Boom. You have your net present value. And this number again is positive. So that shows us that the project looks acceptable. For the third part, the profitability index, recall the formula. The formula was saying to add NPV and the initial outlay and then divide it by the initial outlay. We found out that our net present value in this example is $7,105.21. The initial outlay was $80,000 and dividing everything by $80,000. Uh, we make the calculation and we see that the numbers comes out as 1.09. And that number is definitely greater than um, one. So as such, again, the project looks acceptable. Now at the last part, we need to calculate the IRR. Again, uh, there are two methods for calculating the IRR. One method will, would rely on our previous calculation. All you do is you go back to this display where you see on the screen of your calculator F01 equals 6.00 then you just pr press irr compute so you just press the irr compute keys on your screen and you should 
see the result as 12.97 percent alternatively a second solution would simply rely on the third row uh, of our financial um, calculator um, so this is PV payment and FV and so we know that this is a six-year project we are interested in figuring the IRR so that one would be a question mark the initial investment in the project is eighty thousand dollars so we enter that in as a negative and then the payments are twenty thousand dollars plus and that's why I added a plus sign at the beginning of that and the future value the, the, the project will have a zero salvage value you compute I over Y and you should get the same answer 12.97 percent in agreement with our first solution so again based on the IRR methodology because 12.97 percent exceeds um, the required rate of return of 10 percent based on IRR again we would say that the project is acceptable recall that we have used four different methods to uh, assess uh, the, the a given project the payback period the NPV the PI and the IRR and recall again that these three NPV, PI and IRR they always agree on their recommendations of whether a project should be accepted or not whereas payback period is an independent rule of thumb method where you decide whether uh, you where the manager actually decides whether he or she wants to uh, undertake the project so that would be all about this problem i hope you enjoyed the lecture see you soon